Hello, my name is John Avila. I'm recording the Module 3 discussion forum. Uh, so prior to this discussion, gather results of your leadership traits questionnaire. So the um, results of that for me were uh, technical skill level, uh, I had a 27 in that, human skill 25, and conceptual skill 23. Um, I think after looking at the the rates and the the scoring that the 23 is the lowest and it's still considered high I think maybe it would be beneficial for me to have other feedback on this as well um, I tried to be as non-biased as possible but I think after thinking through it I convinced myself that you know I am more capable in certain areas and that I'll take you know a couple scenarios that I've found and kind of focus on the good and maybe discard where I lack. Um, so I think having some feedback on that as well would be beneficial. Um, similar to the leadership skills inventory um, questionnaire, that one I really appreciate on having other people be able to take the questionnaire and kind of, uh, you kind of take the average uh, so that was insightful for me, definitely with those higher scores that I had um, being brought down a little bit by, especially my wife. She, uh, I think one of the biggest, um, yeah, one of the biggest discrepancies was in my communication skills. Uh, I guess, you know, sometimes I communicate a little bit more directly um, and not as effectively as, as I might think. Uh, so it was really insightful to have other people take the questionnaire on me and kind of give some feedback on where I might actually line up. Um, but other, all the other ones uh, were pretty similar in, in the second questionnaire. Um, a, good, a good bit higher, I kind of try to pride myself on uh, being empathetic and uh, understanding towards other people. Um, so for the, um, uh, after looking through some of the the video of my peers, it was definitely a lot of good insights from that. Um, from uh, Jesse, who um, really tried to be as unbiased in his um, questionnaire. And I think I definitely could have done a better job of that. Um, and um, kind of hearing the thoughts of, you know, people explain, you know, where, where their strengths are and where they, you know, could use some work, I think is really interesting. And I think it's overall beneficial for a work environment and just uh, any environment to have people who complement each other and understanding where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. So I really appreciated um, them sharing their their scores. Um, so going into the um, insights from the, the readings. So from um, McChrystal's prologue, um, the perceptions that I had of like traditional leadership mod, uh, models were a little bit different than kind of what was uh, in, the, in the reading. Uh, I thought it was really interesting, the importance of like adaptability um, and collaboration uh, from Robert E. Lee. Uh, I can't imagine, you know, being a leader in a time of extreme conflict. And so kind of the complexities of having that, um, you know, your leadership might change when you're at war rather than whenever you're, you know, working on a project at work. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. And the comparison between Walt Disney and uh, Coco Channel um, definitely gave some insight into kind of differing approaches, um, kind of, you know, more creativity and um, innovation uh, with their leadership. Um, Albert Einstein and uh, Bernstein's uh, contrasting leadership styles um, definitely gave some value to um, understanding, you know, more diversity uh, and embracing kind of different perspectives whenever it comes to uh, leadership roles, I thought was really interesting. So um, overall, there's like a lot of different ways that people tend to lead. And one thing that I, I thought was really interesting uh, from the, the discussion video 
was uh, Shelby brought up kind of how uh, Walt Disney, you know, from how he's portrayed to maybe who he was in actuality, uh, may be a little bit more stark than people realize, and he may not have been the most virtuous person. Um, so I think it's really interesting to like separate how somebody leads with who they are. And like, uh, like they said in the video, you can't really deny the impact that Walt Disney has had on the world. Um, and so kind of being able to study the good parts of Walt Disney and maybe um, discard kind of, you know, more personal practices, um, I think could be beneficial um, whenever we're, we're learning about different types of leadership. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. So discussing the uh, sources of power, kind of emotional intelligence and stuff like that. Um, so I noticed a combination of like legitimate uh, power and military rank. Um, so let's see, here are my notes. Let's go to, excuse me. Okay, so for uh, the emotional intelligence, uh, Walt Disney, um, definitely inspiring, uh, has others resonate with the concept of emotional intelligence, um, especially with connecting to people's creativity. Um, pe uh, even today, there's even adults that still look at the whole Disney um, characters uh, very fondly and and have that as a pretty integral part of their life uh, since they grew up with these people with the the characters um, so to be able to foster creativity like that I think takes a lot of emotional intelligence to appeal to somebody's emotions um, so I thought that was really interesting um, so the leader trait uh, I chose was for uh, Robert E Lee with the sense of duty um, especially in his resilience um, and just overall perseverance through a very difficult time. Um, and some, what are some scriptures that come to mind uh, when it comes to these different uh, sources of power? I think it's, it's very important to contrast a lot of our initial thoughts of leadership with what scriptures tells us uh, what leadership is. Um, in Philippians chapter 2, uh, verses 3 through 4, there's uh, these verses kind of emphasize being humble and considering others above yourself. Um, when it comes to leadership, I think that being the first servant is kind of something that a leader sh should be is leading by example and willing to serve others and not kind of put them down and, and become higher than them, but uh, leading them by example. Um, Proverbs 16, nine gives us the importance of uh, planning and also seeking counsel. Um, when we become leaders, it's important to lead with confidence, but also know when you don't have all the answers and you need to go to somebody who might have the answers or who has some good counsel for you to become a more effective leader. Um, overall, I believe that biblical, um, these biblical qualities only improve leadership uh, by having us be more humble, um, wise, and um, subservient to others uh, when we're needed and seeking integrity through our faith um so i think that was pretty much all the the notes i had for the thing so yeah that's